Uh, it's really good to see you today. It's Wednesday, I believe it's the 14th of October. I really got no idea what the dates are at all. So um, a little bit late today, but that's because um, we decided we'd have a nice cooked brunch. Uh, and so I um, uh, had to go down to Morrison's, bought the stuff, come back, cooked it. Um, yeah, I cooked it. It's, it's better that way. Um, but don't don't tell Karen. Don't tell Karen I said that. Okay. So it's, but it's better that I cook the, the breakfast. It's one of my skills. Um, so um, so I feel here. I feel nice, nice warm feeling in my tummy. Uh, I've had a cup of coffee, and and I'm good to go. And um, I'm not I'm not sure where I'm going to go, but I am going to tell you where I'm going to go. I'm going to go into the Word of God. And what a better way to start the day into in uh, seeking God, spending time in His Word, spending time in prayer. We can't spend any better time than that in just preparation. And um, today we're in Ephesians chapter 4, <coughs> verse 8. And um, yesterday, I'll read verse 7 and 8 because they kind of go together. However, he has given each one of us a special gift. Thank you, Jesus, for that through the generosity of Christ. That is why the scriptures say, when he ascended to the heights, he led a crowd of captives and gave gifts to his people. So... It said when he ascended to the heights, which actually also means that, uh, as it talks about in the next verse, that actually he descended. So he, but what we, what I believe this kind of refers to is actually that when when Jesus died, he he went down to hell, and he stormed the gates of hell. He kicked him in. He he because obviously he died. He he but he'd he'd no he he'd done no sin. He committed no sin, um, and he was there. He he then were, was able to take the the keys of hell and sin and, and death and they were all destroyed and so um, Jesus was able to lead out those who had who died before Christ who were men and women of faith he was able to and uh, he led those and this is what it says he led this crowd of scriptures he led this crowd of scriptures this crowd of captives and he gave gifts to his people and in Roman times, this was this, what happened was when 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 the Romans had won a battle, when the Roman general had won a great battle, they would go back to Rome, and they would go through with with their army, and be presented. All, all of Rome would turn out, and I've seen Ben Hur, I've seen I've seen the film there, and and done a bit of research on it as well. And it would turn up, and all the Romans would be shouting, cheering, yeah, fantastic, and then uh, the captain, the general, would go and present uh, himself. To, to, to the emperor, uh, who would give him a, a, a bat and a scroll of, of describing his achievements. And then the general who won the battle would give the emperor all these gifts that he'd won from, and that, that they'd think things samples from, from those from the country that they had that they had um, that they had captured. But instead it tells us here that Jesus it, it, he did something similar but different. I can imagine that in heaven, as Jesus led the captives, there was great rejoicing from all the, you know, from the angels, from the people who, you know, the angels and, and the people there in heaven who, uh, who were worshipping. They were there cheering as Jesus led, as Jesus led the crowd of captives, those who have died in faith, those who died following Jesus, loving, you know, loving God, men and women of faith, and that finally, they were able to enter that rest. So Jesus was leading out those people who had been captives, who had been imprisoned, who had been enslaved because of, uh, you know, after they died. Um, and it talks about this, that they were in Sheol. That's um, that's uh, another name for, well, I don't know what it was. I think it would be hell, but it would be they were there and that they were brought through from there. And Jesus led his captives home. He brought them home. And there would have been great rejoicing. And then it says, he gave gifts to his people. This is all because of the blood of Jesus Christ. You know, all authority has been given to him. <coughs> all authority has been given to Jesus by the Father. And he has given all authority to us. When he died, when he paid the price, when he lived on this earth, he and he, and he paid the price for our sin, not only that was all authority of God, you know, that God had given to him, he took back the authority. He bought back the authority that we had given up. You know, because when Adam first sinned, 
in the in the Garden of Eden, when Adam first sinned, he gave up his authority. He gave up his authority to rule and to reign, he, and he gave it to the enemy because of because of what it, because of what he'd done, because he'd sinned, because he, he didn't live that perfect life. And when Jesus paid the price, he bought back. He bought back. He kicked down the gates of hell, and he took back. Actually, he took back the authority that we'd so cheaply given away, and he took it back. And brought and then he gives that now to us, his people. And that's why Jesus said afterwards, because obviously this happened, um, but in between, I believe, you know, in between when Jesus had died and when he rose again, and Jesus um said when he ascended to heaven, he said, All authority has been given to me by the Father, and also because of the stuff he'd taken back from the enemy, and therefore I give this authority to you, and he gives us gifts, he gave us the Holy Spirit. To help us to live our lives, to 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 be the men and women that God has called us to be, and I would just encourage you to take up the authority that Christ has given us. For, I would encourage myself and say, Mike, you know, don't lay it down. It's too easy just to start thinking the way the world thinks, to do things the way you know, to live according to the world's pattern, and to to lay down the authority that God has given us. But what we need to do is, men and women of God, we need to rise up. We need to take that authority that Jesus has given us and we need to walk and live and have a being and move in it and to move in that authority that Christ has given us. That is what we need to do. That is what we need to do if we are to accomplish the things that God has called us to. So I'd encourage you. I'm encouraged this morning just from just speaking this to myself, to my spirit, to say, Lord, to say, Mike, take up the authority that Christ has given you. Take it up. Use it and see God's kingdom come. And I'd encourage you to do the same. So today, trust that you'd have a great day, that you'd be blessed, and uh, that, that you would take up the authority that God has given you. Use the gifts that he's given you, the authority, particularly the authority that he's given us because it was paid for by the precious blood of Jesus. And we thank God for that today. Listen, have a great day. Take care. Be blessed. And I'll see you again tomorrow on Thursday. Amen.